And now to our continuing coverage of the Pamela Phillips trial. The state began making its case today. Phillips is accused of hiring a hitman to plant a bomb in her ex-husband's car. Today, the man who was with Gary Triano moments before the deadly explosion took the stand. Not in your sides, Justin Shecker is live in the newsroom with his riveting testimony. Guy, imagine saying goodbye to a friend and moments later you hear an explosion, turn around and see a cloud of smoke coming from your friend's car. It sounds like a scene from a movie, but this was Luis Ruben Lopez's reality on the day Gary Triano was killed. We warn you, his testimony is graphic. This morning, the prosecution called on the last person to speak with Pamela Phillips' ex-husband right before a car bomb killed him. Luis Ruben Lopez shared an office with Gary Triano in the months leading up to his shocking death. We shared a common interest, which is golf, and uh, we'd go up to, you know, he'd invite me to play golf at La Paloma. Friday afternoon, November 1st, 1996, the two businessmen played 18 holes on the La Paloma golf course. After a post-game drink at the country club's grill, Lopez shook hands with Triano in the parking lot, said goodbye, and walked to his car. Put the key in the, uh, in the lock of the door, I heard an explosion. I turned around and I saw a, uh, like a, uh, a mushroom cloud, a smoke cloud. At first, he didn't realize the smoke was coming from Triano's Lincoln Town car. When I got this car, the top of his car was gone. What Lopez saw inside the car looked like a war zone corpse. I just saw Gary's, you know, his head was slumped over. His uh, uh, right arm was and hand were gone. He was no, no, motionless. Sheriff's Department and ATF bomb experts who investigated the scene also testified today. More are expected to take the stand when the trial continues in the morning. Guy, back to you.